Hello and welcome to another episode of Milk Float TV, broadcasting from the back of Bluebell the Milk Float. We're here with the wonderful Holly Morwenna, a um, commercial music student. And how are you doing, Holly? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good, thank you. Good. Glad to have you here. <laughs> yeah, you. cheers for coming along. It's so, cool to meet Bluebell and uh, you guys. <laughs> yeah, well, she's really yeah. pleased to meet you as well. I feel so. like she is slightly cooler than us as well. Like <laughs> She definitely gets the attention we well, wish we did get. Yeah, but... true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, she's uh, really cool. Oh, great. So uh, what are you going to play for us first, Holly? Um, I'm going to play an original song, and this one's called Tiptoe. Brilliant. Um, and it's out on Spotify if you want to hear it. Oh, cool. Perfect. Cool. I know, I know we're literally physically too close to home Tiptoe, tiptoe around and around so nobody will know Cause it's not an accident and it's not intentional I refuse to believe it's unconventional It's not an accident, it's not intentional I refuse to believe it's unconventional Oh, I told you so that I'm a no-go So maybe we should tiptoe, we should tip, tip toe Oh, our body clocks, our hands don't know when to stop I figure out what makes you tick tock, tick tick tock Tick tock, tick tick tock, oh Tick tock, tick tick tock I know your love is like wine and it's poison my mind Although, although the consequences have sobered up my eyes Accident and it's not intentional I refuse to believe it's unconventional It's not an accident and it's not intentional I refuse to believe it's unconventional Oh, I told you so that I'm no go So maybe we should tiptoe, we should tip tiptoe our body clocks, our hands don't know where to stop I figure out what makes you tick tock, tick tick tock And I told you so, that I'm a no-go So maybe we should tiptoe, we should tip tiptoe And our body clocks, our hands don't know where to stop I figure out what makes you tick tock, tick tick tock Tick tock, tick tick tock, oh Tick tock, tick tick tock. Tick tock, tick tick tock. Oh, tick tock, tick tick tock. Woo! Hey! That was great. Lovely. Yeah. This feels weird singing in a milk float. <laughs> yeah, you've had the experience yeah. now, but yeah, you want to keep doing it now. Yeah, but definitely. yeah, we'll milk come float back. virginity, and then yeah, we'll come back for more. Next time it'll yeah. be like a, I don't know, a different kind of float. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a floating experience. But yeah. Cool. And um, the thing I kind of picked up from that, like, <clears throat> when you're writing a song that comes about like romance or yeah. lust, like, how do you as a songwriter try and approach it differently? Because it obviously dominates the market. Like, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. it's something like 80% of songs yeah. in there kind of about romance. Like, for you, how do you kind of write a song that still feels, like, unique to you? Um... It's sometimes quite hard because yeah. sometimes I do feel like you end up writing songs and they're like generic mm. and they're the ones I'm just like, nah, I'll yeah. push it away or you start it and you don't you don't like it. Um, but I think sometimes you've got to like think about the unique parts in yeah. the relationship or in, in the romance yeah. or the fake romance or whatever it is. Yeah. Look at what's like unique to that. So, for example, that song was about um, this boy that I liked in halls yeah. like first year and yeah. luckily he's my boyfriend now but oh, yeah. <laughs> it was about basically not yeah. being able to be together because the rest of the halls like well, no. our halls flat didn't okay. like it and they got really annoyed about it so. hence the tiptoeing yes yeah. Okay, yeah. so I kind of picked up about like a unique aspect of that, yeah, which is like yeah. unique to me and to me and him. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's brilliant. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm like, I was wondering like what your writing process is then. Do you have kind of set ways of working or is it always different? Or... Just kind of, sometimes I 
literally will sit down and write a song and nothing will come out that's any de- any good. Yeah. And I guess every songwriter <clears throat> has that, where they're just like, yeah. oh my God, I haven't written a song in four months that's any good. And that's kind of me at the minute. But when I do end up getting a good song or like something that I like, it kind yeah. of starts with, I, I always will put my phone in front of me and press record yeah. before I do anything. Because yeah. I know yeah. even if it's just something <clears throat> rubbish, one line of that could be amazing and I'd really like it. So I start literally just picking a chord sequence that I like, um, usually, and then improvising on top of it, yeah. and kind of basing my improvisation around a topic. Um, this song I actually wrote with Jamie Williams, who is was a master student last yeah. year, okay, right. yeah. and he's a producer, so he actually, I think this one, he'd written the backing track, and he yeah. said, Holly, can you write some lyrics? Yeah. And it's really pop, and I was like, all right, yeah, I'll have a go at writing yeah, some yeah. lyrics to it. And in the end, I did that for him, and then we also decided to convert it into an acoustic version. Yeah. Right, so it kind yeah. of depends on the situation, but usually I would sit down and improvise something, yeah. and then look back at it in a couple of days and yeah. change all the lyrics to yeah. what yeah. suits. Okay, so is it generally like the music coming first? Yeah, and then melody is always him, for me, like, yeah. the main bit. Yeah. Oh, I find the yeah. lyrics harder <laughs> than anything. Yeah. <laughs> I but think yeah. Yeah, I think I was the other thing I was gonna ask you, like there's that famous thing about Adele, like she only ever writes good things with like heartbreak and stuff. Yeah. Like obviously now you're in a relationship and it sounds like it's a happy relationship. <laughs> yeah. Do you find it harder now to yeah. um, write songs? Because <laughs> I find that certainly when I'm in those situations. It's, yeah, my mum even noticed it. She's like, Holly, yeah. you need to sometimes just have an argument just yeah, so you yeah, can yeah. write something about it and yeah. I'm like, No. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I'm exactly the same. Yeah. When I feel like yeah, heartbreak is so much easier to write about. Yeah, it is, yeah. And <laughs> It's harder to write like a love song or a happy song yeah. without being cheesy. Or soppy, yeah. Or soppy. Like saying, yeah. And yeah, and now I'm kind of trying to find other things to write about that's not yeah. love. And yeah, yeah. that's what okay. I'm trying to do at the moment. Cool. Yeah. So um, you've got a songwriting tip for us. I do. Um, do you want to just tell us a little bit about... I'll show, hold that up to the camera. So, so I mentioned <laughs> it a little bit earlier, but I always click record on my phone before mm. I do anything on guitar. Um, just because for me, if something co- good comes out of it, like I'll improvise an entire song on the spot and if it's yeah. not any good, it's not any good. But sometimes I'll remember one lyric or one line or melody and it's really good to look back onto the, like listen back onto the recording and be like, oh, that sounds really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. actually, the more you listen to it, the more you like it sometimes. Yeah. And it's really helpful because if you, like, if you forget it, it's the most frustrating thing in the world. Yeah, right. <laughs> so my tip is always record your ideas on your phone, even if you have no ideas yeah. ahead of the time. That's yeah. a great Just press tip. Record. Yeah. Do you ever run Definitely. out of storage? Because I always do that. Like, I record yeah, so well. much. Like, I literally <laughs> have to... Luckily, the one thing it doesn't say to me to do, like when you take a photo, it says, oh, you've got no storage. Yeah. When you do a recording, it doesn't ever say that. Oh, that's lucky. So, I need to learn the tricks from that's you there. Yeah. Second tip is get get more storage yeah, on the maybe. phone. Yeah, stop being a yeah. cheapskate and get more expensive. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. Maybe I should just buy like a little mini microphone yeah, thingy yeah, yeah. on those recording things. But yeah, no, I do yeah. find that's a problem as well. Oh, but I upload them all to my computer. Yeah, back up, yeah. yeah. Good, good just put them all on a project and yeah, yeah it's good Brilliant. fun listening back to them yeah. in a couple of years as well yeah <laughs> and you're gonna um, play a cover now aren't you yes um, do you want to tell us a little bit about it um so this one is by sam smith and okay. disclosure yeah and it's called latch and oh, yeah. Um, song. yeah i love it i didn't even think about covering it until recently and now yeah. i just want to cover it all the time i love yeah. it yeah. <laughs> so yeah this Brilliant. is latch by sam smith and disclosure <laughs> Oh, now 
I've got you in my space I won't let go of you Oh, and now you're shackled in my embrace I'm latching on to you Feeling so encaptured You've got me wrapped up with your touch Oh, feeling so no more Hold me tighter with your clutch How do you do it? I'm losing every breath Oh, and what did you give me To make my heart beat out of my chest? I feel we're close enough Wanna lock in your love, baby Feel we're close enough Wanna lock in your love, baby But now I've got you in my space I won't let go of you Oh, and now you're shackled in my embrace I'm latching on to you Oh, and now I've got you in my space I won't let go of you But now you're shackled in my embrace I am latching on to you Oh, it's lovely. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, great. So, um, if people want to find you online and things, where where do they go? Uh, website or uh, every social media? I probably yeah. have it. Yeah. <laughs> um, just type in Holly Morena. I'm sure they'll put a link below in the description. Um, yeah. But <clears throat> yeah, Holly Morena. I've got Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Instagram's what I like using at the moment, so yeah. check out that for right. my cool photos. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, I've also got a lot of gigs coming up in the summer. We got to do like a mini little tour. So I'm doing a Southwest tour and a couple of gigs <clears> in London. So if you want to find me there, they'll all be on my Instagram or Facebook page. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, cool. thanks ever so much for coming along today. Thanks it's been beautiful. Me. We really enjoyed yeah. having you along. Cool. So yeah. hope to see you again in the summer, you maybe yeah, a bit definitely. later. But yeah. <laughs> okay. So thanks a lot for watching and see you next time. Bye. Right. <laughs>